My name is Ayola John Oluwafemi. I will be discussing the topic concept of matter. Uh, what is matter? Matter is simply defined as anything that occupies physical space and has mass. Matter can also be defined as anything that occupies space and has mass and can exist as solid, liquid, or gas, meaning that mass is in three forms. is either in liquid form, solid form, or gas. So matter is attracted towards the center of the heart by the force called gravity, as you can see in the diagram below. Now, let's move on to phases of matter. There are three phases or forms by which matter exists. We have the solid form, we have uh, the liquid, and then we have gas. And solid, it holds its own shape, while the shape of the liquid depends on the container. The same thing applicable to the gas. The shape of the gas depends also on the container. Uh, solid has a fixed volume. The same thing applicable to liquid, it has a fixed volume. And also is, is in free surface. Now, uh, for gas, is uh, the volumes depends on the container. That is, it take the volume uh, it take the uh, the volume of the container. Now, the general properties of matter. I'm going to tell us the uh, four properties of matter. One, matter is made up of tiny particles, molecules, or atoms. Two, matter occupies space. Three, matter possesses inertia, mass, or weight. Four, matter is that pressure now i'm going to uh, take the properties of phases of matter one by one now i'm starting with properties of solid state one it has a definite shape that's its own shape it not depends on the container at all it, two it has a volume three all particles are very close together. Now, properties of liquid state. Liquids have an indefinite shape, meaning that the shape of a liquid depends on the container and a definite volume. It's also having a fixed uh, volume as that of a solid. Now, three. We have particles are not very close when compared to the solid state. The last one, which is uh, properties of gas. Now, one, it has no fixed shape, meaning that the shape of a gas depends on the container. Two, it has no fixed volume. The same thing is depends on the container. Uh, it depends on the container. Three, particles of gases are very far apart and move freely. I think you can see it from the diagram. Now, crystalline and amorphous substance. Uh, we can see that uh, amorphous compounds and uh, crystalline compounds, they are different. Now, you, can, you will see it now. Crystalline compounds have definite melting points and definite characteristics shape. They are usually soluble, meaning that they can be dissolved in water. Unlike amorphous compounds, which have no definite melting points and definite shape, they are insoluble, meaning that they cannot be dissolved in water. So I think you can see the difference between crystalline uh, compound or substance and uh, amorphous substance. Above are the diagrams of uh, crystalline substance. You can see that uh, crystalline substance, they are arranged, they are well arranged 
when compared to amorphous substance whereby they are not well arranged now crystalline substances are any structures of ions molecules or atoms that are held together in an ordered three dimensional arrangement and you can see that amorphous substances are irregular they are not regular and they lack the repeated patterns of a crystal lattice now uh, the following are the common metallic crystal structures and i would like us to take note of this structure you should be able to drop them at least try now one we have our body centered cubic we have face centered cubic we have hexagonal close pack uh hexagonal is uh six you can see we have uh, six side one two three four five six now so uh it's very simple to draw now there is a need for us to able to differentiate between atom and molecule now listen and get uh, the difference correctly now atom is made up of particles and those particles include uh, proton electron and neutron molecules are very tiny particles which when they come together they make up matter now, and then we have our molecules are made up of atoms the difference is very clear uh, atoms they are just uh, combinations of protons and uh, electrons and neutrons where we have our molecule is combinations of atoms whereby matters is just combinations of molecule coming together now our molecule possess two kinds of energy we have the kinetic energy which is a moving energy and we have the uh, potential energy which is, which is a stationary uh, energy so take note of this also there are three uh, theories of matters we have one you should also know note this know it matters is made up of molecules molecules are in rapid motion that is uh, they move in motion fast and then we have molecules experience force of attraction meaning that they are attracted to uh, one another so uh, I want to believe you should be able to uh, give three differences between a gas state and liquid state and big crystalline and amorphous substance and also you should be able to give uh, three kinetics theories of energy and I want to believe uh, this should not be a problem to you and if you are having any question uh, do it to send your message to the email uh, below thank you god bless Thank you.